Matt Burner, you're taking a look at the All Stakes Pick 4 at Turfway Park on Saturday afternoon, highlighted by this year's running of the Jeff Ruby Stakes, a three-year-old prep for the Kentucky Derby. This sequence races 7 through 10. Scheduled post time is 4.04 Eastern for the first leg. That is race 7. That is the rush away. It's going to be a $75,000 event, a mile and 16th on the synthetic surface for three-year-olds. I think it is a wide-open race. I need to go pretty deep in here. I'm going to use three A's and three B's. My A's in this spot, the number two, Violent Storm going out for Brendan Walsh. Coming off of a layoff, haven't seen this one since the end of his two-year-old campaign. I like the pedigree for a synthetic racetrack. Got the job done on a yielding turf course at nine furlongs off the layoff. I think this horse is interesting if he gets some pace. I'll also use the six in here, Road to Damascus for Todd Pletcher. The Southwest, I don't really want to hold that race against him. He was 15-1. to one. He was overmatched, caught a very wet track, needed to be inside as well. That run two starts back, though, at Tampa Bay Downs. I thought he ran pretty well, all things considered. He figures to be forwardly placed. If he can sit just off and make sure that he doesn't get hooked in a pace duel, I think he is mildly intriguing as well. And the other A for me is sort of a we'll find out because if the 13 Seduna draws in, I want to use this horse in a pretty serious way. That debut score I thought was nice can hopefully work out some sort of a stalking trip from that outside. No bargain. Pretty short run into that first turn, going a mile and a 16th at Turfway Park, but saw enough in that debut effort. If this horse draws in at a decent number, I want to use that one as well. As far as backups are concerned, going to go three deep there. I'm going to use the seven alternative route for Al Stahl. I think this is an interesting runner from a buyer standpoint. Fits well. Not entirely sure that this synthetic surface is going to be ideal for him. But we'll find out again as nothing more than a backup. I'm also going to use the 10, truth be told, as well as the 11, believe in royalty. Believe in royalty. I'm still hopeful there's something there. His mom was believe you can. Obviously, we know she went on to win the Kentucky Oaks. So hopefully at some point, the sort of class will shine through and he'll be able to get over the hump. So three A's, three C's for me in the first leg of this All-Stakes Pick 4 at Turfway on Saturday. Let's move on to the second leg. That is race number eight. It's the Kentucky Cup classic a mile and an eighth on the synthetic surface uh, i'm only using two horses in here i understand anyone that says you need to use more than that i'm gonna use one a and one c my only a in here is royal sun going out for kellen gorder this horse is three for four at turfway park coming off of a just a blowout score in a race in december i know a few months back but that 105 buyer lays over this field uh, he won by seven lengths he clearly loves this racetrack I'm going to use him and stand on him as, an, uh, as a lone A. If I'm using a C, which I will, uh, I want to use the 7 in here. Chip leader going out for Pletcher now. This is a horse, first time trying the synthetic, but really has done nothing wrong in his racing career. 8 of 19 lifetime, 12 times in the money. Most of it, almost all of it, has been done on turf. He's only run on dirt three different times, but I like that sort of forward gear that he's got. Doesn't have to go to the lead, but can if it's given to him. Chip leader will be a backup for me, but the main play for me in the eighth race on Saturday is Royal Sun, the number four horse. Let's move on to the big stakes races, the graded events. Race number nine is the Grade 3 Bourbon at Oaks, presented by DRF Bets. You can head on over to the Daily Racing Forum YouTube channel as well as video.drf.com for the full in-depth analysis. This is a race I'm going four deep. I'm going to use two A's and two C's. And you'll note when you take a look through all of my ticket maker play, uh, I'm not going with any B's just because this thing could get out of hand as far as a budget is concerned. So I had to make some decisions somewhere, and I decided to go with only main plays and backup plays. So I'm afforded one C out of all of these races if I can get through with some A's. This ninth race, I want the two and the three for my A's. I think Consolida is very interesting for Patty Gallagher. I know the pace melted down. But that's probably what this horse wanted all along. She's nice. She's really done nothing wrong in three lifetime starts. They bring her over here. I think she fits in well if the pace does heat up. And the three queens fate is actually my top pick in the race for Mike Maker. That sweetest chant, I don't want to hold that against her. She didn't really do any running, but she was wide for the first three quarters of the race. And then when the real running began, Julian Leperu just wrapped up on her. You get Rafael Hernandez here. She ran well enough in that two-year-old finale for her in the Ontario Lassie up at Woodbine over a similar sort of racing surface. Hopefully, she can work something out here. As far as my backups are concerned, I'm going to the outside. I'm going to use the 10 bet she wins. I don't believe the 90 buyer speed figure that she earned in Arlington, Washington, Lassie back last year at Arlington Park, but 
even if she's within 10 or 15 points of that, that makes her a prime contender. I'll also use another maker enter at the far outside. Go, Noni, go. I'd like her more, and I'd use her as an A if she had a better post draw. That 11 post going a mile on the ma- on the uh, synthetic racetrack, it's a very, very difficult situation. Short run into that first turn, she can't help but lose some ground at some point. So A's for me in the Bourbon at Oaks presented by DRF Bets. The two and the three, Consolida, Queen's Fate, and I'll also use a couple of backups, the 10 and the 11. We move on to the big one. It is the Jeff Ruby Stakes. It's a Kentucky Derby qualifying race. You get some points out there for the folks that run in the top three or the top four, I should say. Uh, I'm going to go four deep in here, three A's and one backup. My A's, two, three, and four. I like Cash Call Kitten. He is my top pick in this race. He just seems like a horse that hasn't put it all together, but... I like the fact that it looks like he wants to run all day. I think a mile and eight is going to be right in his wheelhouse. Also worth noting, he was at Turfway Park training before they brought him to Gulfstream Park, brought him down to South Florida. He's two for two thus far. He hasn't done anything wrong. Again, a little bit goofy, but I think this mile and eight is going to really work for him. The number three, Archer Jalos, I think is a nice horse for Michael Dickinson. He's got the big pedigree. He's after Big Brown. You see he's Temple City on top. He's done some good things already on synthet- synthetic racetrack last year as a two-year-old up at Woodbine. If he comes back and he's ready to go off the layoff, he's going to be a major, major player. I'll also use the number four in here, Pony Up, for Todd Pletcher. I thought that most recent run, draw line through at the Holy Bowl. Then you're left with a couple of decent efforts and the Kittens joining the pulpit. You see in the Kittens Joy, only beaten a neck by Flame Away. We know what Flame Away has gone on to do on the main track. And in the pulpit, Speed Franco, he just caught a flyer and went off and wired that field. But it's also worth noting, we know what he's turned into. And then Maraud, the third place finisher, he came back to win a stakes race in his next start. So Pony Up has been keeping good company for Pletcher in South Florida. Now he goes over to the synthetic. As far as my backup is concerned, I'm going to use the number eight horse in here. That's Blended Citizen coming in from the West Coast for Doug O'Neill. Blinkers go on for the first time. Ran well enough in the El Camino Real Derby most recently. Highest last out buyer in the field with an 83. Second off the bench, I would imagine you're going to get a forward move. Kyle Frey comes in to ride. I think this is an interesting horse. Again, maybe not one that's going to take a ton of money in a race that is wide, wide open. You can go 15 different ways in a 12-horse field, but maybe Blended Citizen is nothing more than a backup for me. Maybe he can kind of slip through the cracks. Hopefully, I'm alive to my backup going into that finale. It is a wide open sequence. Let's throw up the entire ticket maker play one more time if we could. You can see it is races 7 through 10 Saturday afternoon, Turfway Park. It's an all-stakes pick four. It's wide open. It looks like it's going to pay something serious. So, again, ticket maker that's probably the way to go through it because you can weight your opinions accordingly and hopefully set yourself up for a nice score race number seven is the kickoff leg of this all stakes pick four starts with the rush away mile and 16th on the synthetic track the scheduled post time for the seventh race the opening leg of the all stakes pick four is 404 eastern good luck